and you can see how much force this top piece has when it slams down. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to catch mice in the barn with a style of mousetrap that was used over 600 years ago. Now this well-built recreation was sent to me by a YouTube viewer and high school shop teacher named Mr. Olmsted out in Cove, Oregon, who built this with his students and it's such a great project, not only because it teaches them how to work with wood, but also it teaches them history. Now we know this style of mousetrap was used over 600 years ago because it appeared in a painting done in 1427 to 1432 known as the Marode Altarpiece. The painting consists of three panels and on the right hand panel it shows Joseph who was a carpenter working in his shop and there he's making mousetraps, both an example on the table and in the background. But even though this style of mousetrap is over 600 years old, it doesn't mean it has a basic or primitive design. It's actually a pretty complicated machine. It consists of a base with a lid on a hinge. That lid goes up and down. Here's where you catch the mouse. Now down below on a second hinge is a floor that also goes up and down. It's basically a false floor making the whole thing a trigger. There's a knob up front here that attaches to the trigger up above. This trigger is held on a string connected to a top piece and in between the top piece is a string wrapped around a stick. This provides the engine or the force for the trap to go down. You can make it tighter or more firm by twisting this. To set it, we'll pull up the stick, lift up the lid. We put the trigger down below. There's a nice little groove that connects to the floor. Now it's all ready for a mouse to try to get the bait. It will climb up the trap, step on the floor, and when it does, it'll push it down and get caught. If you want it to be a kill trap, it basically will make mouse pancakes. But this time, we're gonna try to make it a live catch trap by leaving a space so it doesn't get smashed. To do that, I'm gonna place a screw right on the top lid to stop it as it hits the box. Now any mouse that gets caught will have plenty of space to run around until we set them free. Now I want to see if we can catch mice in the barn with this trap, so let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens. Well, last night we caught a mouse with the marode mouse trap. He's sitting right in there. He's not a mouse pancake. Instead, he went inside, stepped on the trigger, the door closed, but it didn't smash him. But what we caught is a non-native invasive mouse known as a house mouse. If we caught the native deer mouse, I would set it free in the wild. But because we have an invasive species, I can't let it go. Instead, we're going to humanely dispatch it and feed it to wild animals. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what comes along and enjoys a mouse snack. Well, it looked like a rat enjoyed the mouse we caught with this 600-year-old style marode mouse trap. If you're a high school shop teacher or someone who just likes woodworking projects, I recommend you try to make a working model. It's a great design, it works well, and it's pretty complicated. Thank you so much for watching my videos and a huge shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you so much for your support. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.